What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this countdown timer bar right here and I'm going to show you how you can get this for your very own Shopify store and also customize it to your likings. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I did for that was that I headed over to the Shopify app store where I got the Section Store app. Section Store is a component library with over 200 fully customizable components and even after installing completely new sections you can just delete the app afterwards and you still have the sections in your store because it's just pasting the code into your store so yeah that's not going to slow your store down and it's going to be super fast afterwards so i think it's going to be pretty nice and it's also going to make your store look nice but yeah enough to that so we're gonna focus on the countdown timer bar that's the one this down uh this section does come with a one-time charge of nine dollars that means if you bought the section once you will also own it forever and like i said even after installing the app you will still have the section for yourself also you don't have to pay for an expensive developer and even after you get the section you can customize it to your liking so i think nine dollars is not the end of the world for something like that all right after successfully getting it we head back to the my sections area of the app where we want to be looking for the count down timer bar that is the one because before we can actually use it we have to add it to the theme we're using in my case it is the dawn life theme and I will open this one up right here. I've already done so. So I'm going to show you what I did. So this is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. Just going to get rid of that. Then we will save it up. So like that, I can show you the whole process of actually adding the sectioner and also customizing it so you can get a look and feel how it's all working. So yeah, let's just add the section right here. Countdown. Timer bar, that is the one. And we're gonna save it up real quick so we can be sure there won't be any visual errors or whatsoever in the theme editor. So yeah, that is the one. The first thing I would like to do is of course set the timer to a date that hasn't been in the past already. So we're gonna go with the 21st of January, 2024. And like that, you're gonna see that the timer will activate. Here you have it. It's going to be two days, 12 hours. Another thing I would like to show you is that at the moment, the countdown timer bar is fixed to the top. And that is because it has this CSS class. But if I would get rid of that, the section would simply go where you would drag it on the left side of this navigation for the sections right here. So you should be able to see it in the bottom right here. Let's just let that load up. Yeah, that's where it is, but we want it at the top of course but like that we have a bit more flexibility but the standard default version will come with it at this position but yeah i'll just chug it back in so here we have it again save it up again and like that it's going to go all the way to the top again so yeah that is that and another thing i would like to change straight away where is it there we have it is the section background so just for this tutorial we will make it maybe in this subtle green tone right here. Save it up again so we're not going to get any visual arrows. Go back. And another thing I would like to add to this whole thing is a button where I will link a collection to. So here I'm going to click on the button itself. The button background is going to be blue, button color white. And here we will link the product, which is, sorry, I said collection. So we're going to go for collection, but you could also link a product, so that is all possible. In that case, it's going to be the summer collection, and we're going to save it up again to get rid of those little visuals right here. Yeah, there we have it. That's looking nice. Final thing I would like to change is the timer color. I want to get a better contrast in that, so I'll put that in black. And also the main one, I would like to have it in black as well. Save it up again, have a look at it. Here, we could change the text as well, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. And the final thing I would like to do is have a look at it in the live version. So let's save this up. Hope it could give you a brief little overview of what is possible with that section. At the end of the day, it is up to you how you want to use it, which colors you're gonna pick. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found that useful. And the last thing we're gonna check is if it actually links us to the collection which it does, which means it is all working and I'm happy. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.